Stanspoker.com. Send it. Sir Richard Williams wants a British title shot. So too does Ted Bammy. The light welterweight returning to action here. Still hoping to become eligible for either British or Commonwealth honours. Only a couple of defeats on the slate over the years. And against him, the pole Maurizio Goiko. A comeback for him after a three-year absence. Glenn joined Adam for commentary on this one. We pick it up in the third. Six out, round three. Third round, can Brixen's Ted Bammy prize open the guard of Maurice Goiko? Bammy, who's looking for win number 20. He's only lost a couple through his career. Jacek Bielski and Samuel Malinga both stopped him. But he could get in the mix with Nigel Wright, Lenny Dawes, and some of the other light welterweights. Not quite in the Hatton Witter League. No, he's not. The, the, the other fights, Nigel Wright, they're the, the type fights, type of opponents he needs now. Is there anything more that Goiko has to offer? Doesn't look like it. I think really, Bami, this is the round that he needs to step up the pace. Go for the, the stoppage win. Doesn't seem an awful lot Goiko can throw back at him. Yeah, James Cook was saying in between rounds, target the body now. Notice that he was running out of steam. More of a worried look on the face of the pole. There is that body shot. Really winding up with those big right hands, Bami. Looking to get some power into those punches. It needs to show a little bit more variety, isn't it? It's the same thing all the time from Bami, the jab, and then looking for the, the right hook to the body. It needs to try something different. The uppercut. And one into the body there. Wait. And that hurt Goiko, and he looks away, and he looks down at the canvas, and that troubled him. Yes, this is a hard night for Goiko. Another body, body shot. shot. Down he goes in the third round. Uppercut started it off, then the body shot. Is he going to get through it? Just about. Says he's all right to referee Jeff Hines. Very unconvincingly. 30 seconds left on the round. The legs have gone too, and Ted Bammy now will go for the finish. Now the body shots, sickening in to Maurice Goiko. He'll do well to get through this, Goiko, another right hand into the body. Nothing coming back from Goiko. Bell's going to go any second. Really sucks in the breath, Goiko makes it through. To the end of the third round. Well, credit to him for that. But that was a very, very hard session. Will he want any more? Interesting to see what they see in the corner. If he understood that, that is. But he didn't look like he was going to go on. I thought maybe the, they'd pull him out in the corner. It was a good right hand to the body. But you could tell that was what Bami was going for. He knew, he knew he'd hurt Goiko. And it was the, the similar punch that has been getting through that one more the payoff. There was the left hand. I really got through the solar plexus. That was a much better shot. And that really had Goiko oh, wincing. Look at that body shots landed yes, sir. after three rounds. Six out, round four. Second half of this light welterweight contest. Maurice Goiko comes out for the fourth round. But a turgid third for him. And Bami. I surely know he can finish the job here. Just falls over there, Goiko. There seems very little left, Glenn. No, there's not. I think a, a good exchange from Bami 
few good shots going in I think it could all be over Bravely tries to fire fire back with a, a left well he's tough never been halted in his career to date but is all that about to change well I think out of the ring Adam for three years this is a tough one dangerous opponent to come back to isn't it Ted Bami He's got a confident swagger about him now, Bami. Placing his shots. Right to the body, left to the other side. Goiko come back. Really is a spirited effort. Oh, but that left hook to the body was a sickener. Not sure he'll make it through this. He's on one knee, but he's in absolute eight, agony. Nine, Bent over, knocked out. Five, Round four. There's the somersault of celebration from Ted Bami. And Glenn, let's hope that's the start of big things for him this year. Well, he got the win. It was the body punches that did it. Now he needs to move on from this sort of level and just move up a notch. And, you know, he can do some decent things Ted but I mean, he needs the fights like Nigel Wright that's uh, the type of opponent he wants Mauricio Goiko stopped for the very first time in his life by these body shots from Bami and finally it was something different that brought the ending it was a, a body shot again but this time with the left hand got right round the elbow beautiful right into the the side of the stomach and from that shot there was no recovery he wasn't gonna beat the 10 well he's a character Ted Bami he brings something different don't to the try ring. this at home <laughs> Eleventh knockout in the career of Ted Bami and uh, one of his best yet. You strained yourself watching that. He's still a force, isn't he? He is a force. You know, he's had some good upset wins, but you know, he really needs a, a good fight. And I think a, a fight like Nigel Wright, that's the, the, the type of opponent he needs just to get himself um, back up there and move that extra level.